Hello my friends, welcome to Hoogie Place and uh, welcome to a video that is a little different than uh, my other ones uh, because in this video I will not drive anything um, as you know, for those of you who follows me, you know that I have a sort of trucking diary uh, where I um, drive my uh, truck and uh, try to develop my uh, my uh, company and I also do videos with uh, tests and reviews of uh, mods that uh, trucks um, accessories and stuff that I uh, am interested in but uh, I have also made a few uh, videos about map combos and uh, actually those map combos uh, videos has been <laughs> the most uh, popular ones, uh, most viewed ones. Um, one thing though, when uh, publishing these videos about the maps, I have gotten questions several times about uh, files that are incompatible with um, the version of uh, ETS2 that you uh, currently are using. Um, let's say that you have the latest version of uh, ETS2, 1.34, and you download a mod that is um, incompatible with uh, that version. One often simple solution is to change the manifest file and uh, it sounds easy. Well, it is easy, but it, it's not easy if you haven't done it or if you don't know how to do it. So therefore, I, since I have got a lot of questions about how to change the manifest file, and my English is not that good, uh, I, I thought that it's better to make a video of how I do it when I change the manifest file in uh, let's say a map or something like that so what do you need uh, to do it well you need of course uh, ETS2 and the, um, I'm pretty sure that you have that because otherwise you haven't uh, uh, had the question about how to change the manifest file so you need you need ETS2 but you also need WinRAR and notepad or something like notepad I use notepad plus plus and if you see it down here in this uh, icon bar here I have WinRAR here that is WinRAR here and I have notepad plus plus here these are uh, uh, free versions to download so the uh, only thing you need to do is to Google WinRAR and you Google uh, Notepad++ like this so WinRAR download and support you look for your uh, for the best version to your computer and you download WinRAR for free. Download, install. That is often no problem for anyone. So do do that. And then you go to Notepad++. You download the latest version. You can see here the versions here. And you can see if you want to have 32 or 64 bits and you choose the one that is most most suitable for you okay so download and install WinRAR and notepad plus plus okay let's move on let's look at your um, ETS2 I'm sorry I have Swedish texts uh, in, in my game and so on because I'm from Sweden but you if you play you probably recognize uh, how it looks like so that you can follow 
if you look in the mod manager here you have your different maps and mods and everything like that and you have your mod manager load order here okay if we go down looking here you can see like this for example here we have green dots that says it's compatible and that I'm using it it's active here we have one with the red dot it's incompatible it says okay uh, I will I w since I was talking about uh, map my map combo I will show you uh, how to change uh, a map uh, uh, mod from a uh, an incorrect to a correct uh, version. So I will look for the Scandinavia map here. Here we have it. The Scandinavia map that I use is it's it's two files. Okay. You see here, one is uh, active, compatible, and the other one is incompatible, not active. Okay. It doesn't matter if I if I click on it, it, it won't work, okay? So, I need to do this red dot here, green. If I look uh, on how it looks in the mod, in the load order, you see it here. This, the definition package that I use here is green. Just as it, uh, and it doesn't have any red uh, dots here. This is incompatible. It's the wrong version, and it says that it's wrong here because you have this red marker here. Okay, so doing this green will take this red dot away. It's easy as that. So we will leave the mod manager for now, and we will change to um, so. Uh, you go to your um, to your mod list in Euro Truck Simulator 2. You will find it if you go via the Explorer. I go to the Documents, my Euro Truck Simulator, and here I have the mod file. Okay. So you open the mod file, and here I have the Scandinavia. Uh, Scandinavia mod that I need to change. Okay, it, it could it could be any it could be any file, but as long as you know the name, you can search for it up here. You can search for Scandinavia, for example, and then you get this uh, everything that have has uh, Scandinavia to, uh, attached to it. And you have the Scandinavia mod here. Okay, so I know that it's this Scandinavia mod uh, map package that I need to change. So the only thing I have to do when I have installed WinRAR and Notepad is to double click on it and it opens up in WinRAR like this. This is an SCS file, okay? And it open up, open up like this. And you see here, you have def map description and the manifest file. This manifest.sii here. Open that, double click on it, and Notepad++ will open it. The first time you do this, perhaps you, you get a question or, uh, that asks you, uh, which program you want to choose uh, open the file look if you have installed the notepad plus plus look for the notepad plus plus program and choose that and after that uh, every time you open this uh, type of files the notepad plus plus will open okay so here we have a lot of text of different versions and uh, such things. I'm not good at this, so I will not try to explain anything about this. But what you will look for is here. Often down here, you will see compatible versions. 
1.32 mod is compatible with 1.32x okay since i and probably you are using uh, version 1.34 we need to change this 1.32 to 1.34 and that is easy you just put your marker here sorry put your marker there over uh, the two and change into four okay or if you do it the 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 old way <laughs> or the simple way you can put the marker behind the two take a step back take the two away and put in a four okay so now we have compatible version 1.34 mod is compatible with 1.34 x that is correct okay that's the version that you use now after this click on the cross here so shut down this uh, this window there you get this question if you want to save this file and of course save the file is what you want so yes it probably should have said yes no or abort on your um, if you are using an English version but I'm using the Swedish version so yes is your yes and it's closed okay after this I close down this window and now you see here the WinRAR that uh, speaks English with me asks the file manifest.sii was modified do you wish to update uh, in it in the in the archive yes I want to do that and therefore I click your yes so it's updated if you double click on it once more you now see down here on this line here it says 1.34 okay so close it you close the uh, WinRAR and here you have the, the updated mod uh, in the in the mod file of your Eurotruck Simulator 2. You can close this now and then after that you open up your Eurotruck Simulator again. I have it here so I have to, uh, open it and we go to the mod manager. If, if we search for the Scandinavia here again, you see the definition package is green as it was before, but now even the map package is green. Okay, so it's active because I have it in my uh, load order, and it's therefore, since it's green, it's also compatible. Okay, so what we do now is we go down. And look in the list here you see Scandinavia definition package here no dot Scandinavia map package here no dot it's compatible okay so now it will work easy as that and uh, this was a very short and easy uh, instruction video on how to change your manifest file. If you uh, have any questions, please uh, ask questions in the comment section. Or if you have comments, leave them in the comment section. If you uh, want to keep updated with uh, more upcoming videos, videos, videos of my trucking diary. Uh, my test and rev reviews and perhaps uh, instruction videos if I put out more of those uh, if you have any suggestion if you want me to show you anything more that you want to know please uh, please tell me uh, subscribe to keep updated and perhaps hit the like button uh, this was all for now